Welcome back, everybody. This is MDog. We're at 124.66, clip 35, and we are just casting, I don't know, that way. Towards the uh, shaking tree. Not necessar necessarily being super precise with casts, but that direction, I would say. Sometimes a little more towards like townish area over there, but this whole area seems really good. Kind of like that. That's probably about as far left, left as I've cast. Most of the time it's been a little farther right than that. But this is what we're using. So 1-0 hooks, King Crab, King Crab 18 pop-up. Crab corn, king crab dip, and king crab PVA that I threw together. I've been using this PVA for a while now. Um, just made like three or four batches of it before coming out here. I've been fishing this spot now off and on for five hours. I'd say there was like a two hour gap in there. So let's say three hours total. With this setup, like, you're not going to get the fastest bite rate in the world. It's not like that bear spot that I showed you. This is, um, as we've talked about before, this is an amber spot. It is sometimes worth sitting. You see, we only have 58 fish that we've kept. But uh, some of them have been quite good. Quite good indeed. So let's look at what we've been catching. One weird catfish. A couple barbel. Um... You know, I still haven't caught my trophy barbel, and this isn't the best setup. If you really want to, like, have a better chance at barbel, you're usually better off going with corn alone. But they do occasionally come out, and I'm sure people have occasionally gotten trophy barbel on this setup or something similar. But um, did I show you the PVA mix, or did I just, just look it up? I think I, I don't know. I'll show it to you again just in case. Carp. Uh, of the common variety of course we've gotten a lot of these a couple of trophies one of them quite large for a common carp 26 kilo but uh, really solid carp as you can see I've kept everything very few of the juveniles which I like so we're kind of on a setup here where we're not catching too many juveniles and of course this is when I decided we had to make this video is when we got the gibble carp trophy also a random eyed trophy so that's four trophies, um, which, you know, makes the, the whole thing worth it, right? A few linears. I keep hoping that uh, a linear trophy might pop out, but the biggest we've gotten is 21.2. Mirror we've gotten pretty big as well. Not quite trophy range, but I certainly think that's possible with the amount of mirrors that are coming out. And then this red Starvus, which was weird, right? Because it's the only one we've caught the whole time, but it was quite big. Quite big. I haven't looked to make sure, but it's got to be my personal best Red Starvis, I would think. I've never had a trophy, so it's got to be just about. But if you go to automatic, you see you can kind of glance through the bite rate. At times, it's really good. The times you'd expect the carp to be on, it's really good. Overnight tends to be pretty slow, just one to two fish in the overnight hours each night on average. Um, more mirrors than anything else overnight, and that eyed probably, maybe the catfish. But you see the gap. We spent just a few minutes here. And then there was like a two hour gap. Maybe two and a half hour gap. And then we got serious and have sat here. And and like I was saying, unlike Bear, where you got a you see such a drop off after an hour often. Here's the PVA. I think I did show it to you before, but the only thing I'm doing different, sometimes in the King Crab uh set up I will use a crushed boily but I think this has been doing well enough that uh, I kind of like it without the boily right now um, it's been quite good so uh, so that's the spot and did somebody just have a nice red starvis oh, okay yeah somebody's had a 23 kilo very nice so that's the spot everybody always asks me what's the clip when I post a video so I'll say it again, 35 clip. And um, 
like I said before, same setup on everything. I kind of want to go see the silver we've made, but it just depends on if I really want to be done fishing here. I'll tell you what, let's do that, and then we'll come right back out. You want to go on a little ride with me? It's kind of a long ride. Oh, we're getting a bite. Maybe we shouldn't. We might get a couple decent fish at this time of morning. So what I like about Amber right now, and what I think I have benefit, benefited from with the amount of trophies and the, the fish we're catching, is it has been overcast. It's been some nice overcast weather. Temps have been fairly consistent around 20, 19 degrees since I've been here. It seems like it's doing pretty well, so... This is Tuesday, technically Wednesday morning. Uh, Wednesday evening will be my first night of this week that I won't be working. So uh, we'll be going live on a stream. Come join me on Twitch, MTOL Gaming, if you would like. Um, we'll see what other fun stuff we can get into, but it is entirely possible that I will spend some more time fishing this spot. All right, do you want to go on a four-wheeler ride? If you don't want to go on a four-wheeler ride, this is your chance to uh, to take off. If you do want to go on a four-wheeler ride, well, let's do it. We're bound to have a fish or two on the line by the time we get back. But might as well go get a couple cafe orders turned in. I think, unless they've expired, I think there will be a small common, small mirror order that should be pretty easy. Oh, you know what we're not doing right that we should be doing? Is we should be trying to find a way to just go into the water. We'll have to ride back out, but we don't actually have to. Am I up on that peg close? Yeah, it's close. Let's see if we can make this peg work. I'm not sure if we can or not, but let's try it. If not, we'll have to ride back. This could get embarrassing, folks ever been on my stream when I've tried to do this it does oh goodness I'm not gonna make it I might make it oh we made it okay Whew. Uh, yeah so mirror order but it's the super mirror not the regular mirror so that'll be interesting but yeah we got some cafe orders uh, so 37 silver plus 27 so 64 or whatever that's gonna be it so 64 plus whatever we're about to make I'm not even sure that I'm going to sell them just yet. 1,371 silver. So let's go price. And let's take off the trophies. Still over 1,000 silver. Let's take off that. 853 silver. So let's say you have not quite as good D, uh, RNG. And spend a bunch of time here and somehow don't get the trophies and no rares come out. Still pretty good silver, right? With the trophies, that's getting into really nice territory. Now let's go see if anything has come to join us while we've been gone. Turn on a little music for you. This spot tonight has uh, given me a little more faith in Amber. I had to be patient and sit here a while, but it's been worth it. And it's nice to have a spot like this again, or an experience like this again. I still think if you're trying to figure out your best move for happy hour, I would do the bear spot that I showed you a couple days ago with the strawberry setup. I did that for my happy hour tonight and it was banging good. No trophies, but it's just that really nice bite rate, decent quality of fish. Uh, of course, you wanna roll the dice, you could do this and you're still gonna do fine. And of course, if you hit a trophy, then that's gonna make happy hour really good, but the bite rate is totally different. This is this spot feels more like a long game to me, and letting it just uh, sit there and go through the waves. You know, I don't know if you noticed, but those two common carp trophies came out almost back to back. Um, there there might have been 20 minutes between them. I don't know. We'll check when we get out here, but it wasn't long. So 
kind of just have to let the waves crash in and cash in after you've been patient for a while. I am really sick of this music. Okay, let's see if we've got any anything fun on the line before we wrap this video up. Oh my goodness. I completely fished it out. That's hard to believe, actually. I actually have a hard time believing that. All right, so if you see the common carp, carp trophies 39 minutes ago, 54 minutes ago. I mean, I bet those two fish hooked up within five minutes each other. Uh, that second one ran on me forever. I had to, I finally slowed it down and then started making progress. And, and I really, this 21 kilo common, it fought a little harder than most 21 kilo commons do in my opinion, but um, it was nice to catch it. Ah, this is weird, you know, but this is, this is the thing. So this is why I was telling you, you just sit here and you let the waves ride in. I don't actually think I've fished this spot out. I think you just, it just comes, they come in waves. They really do. So I'm, I'm going to bed soon. I'll give it a few more minutes, catch another fish or two, but uh, just wanted to share the spot with you. I think it's worth checking out if you've got the time. If you don't have the time, just go make some quick silver at Bear. Have fun catching the carp there. But if you've got the time, this is pretty fun as well. So thanks for joining. And if, hey, if you're going to be around tomorrow or later today, I should say, we'll start the, uh, the streaming. It should be three nights in a row of streams uh, on Twitch, MDOG Gaming. So come join us if you like. Thanks for the support. I'll see you soon. Peace out.